Hey guys, I'm back again with the part two of testing out the performance on different resolutions here. So um, I forgot to test out the Intuitu benchmark uh, in, the, in the first video, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, here I am. And uh, first of all, we're gonna be testing out this uh, on uh, the default Quad HD panel. And basically, I don't really do benchmarks on my phone. I'm just addicted to real life performance, uh, you know, so but uh, but yeah uh, i mostly just only do geekbench 3 but uh, since a lot of people are saying do the uh, to do benchmark so i'm here so obviously i'm gonna be skipping this video not gonna be um you know showing you guys the whole thing okay guys we are almost done 99 percent and uh, there we go so we got a score of uh 1,32,594 and the 3D score is uh I think it's yeah it's uh, 46,305 and now I'm just going to quickly change the resolution from quad HD to let's say first test out uh at uh 1080p okay so we're going to be having it at 1080p and you can see I have the other two options off so we're going to be having the full performance on the 1080p uh, resolution let's apply and let's see here it's gonna take a few seconds okay here we go so the stuff is now looking a little bit bigger it's definitely changed and let's check out the Intuitu benchmark now and see if there's any improvement or not okay previous score 1,32,594 let's uh, test again okay so and we'll be back when it's done Okay guys, almost done, 99 person, and you can see 1,12,124 um, uh, So yeah, the overall score is actually less compared to Quad HD But the 3D score is actually improved, uh, which is interesting, which is now around uh, 47,199 Not a big difference, but uh, let's take a screenshot here and uh, check it out if we go here you can see that was the previous score with the Quad HD and this was the 3D score 46,305 and now we have improved 3D score of 47,199 but the overall score is less because the, the CPU score has gone way too low here as you can see previously it was 34,618 and now with 1080p it got to 25,197 and then RAM also got low as well as the UX. So lastly we're checking out the 720p benchmark and see if it can get better or not compared to Quad HD or like Full HD so and let's run the Antutu benchmark application and see once and for all if we can see any improvement test again and uh, yeah of course starting with the 3D of course it's gonna get really smooth um, that's uh, that it was actually smooth on all resolution so okay guys we are done with the 720p benchmark you can see here 1,24,442 uh, 3D score is actually less which is 37,470 uh, and then we have the UI score uh, here so I'm just gonna quickly take a screenshot okay so let's again take a look at the Quad HD uh, score we got 1,32,594 so 3D score was 46,305 and with the 1080p the overall score it got a little bit less but the 3D score actually improved compared to Quad HD a little bit 47,199 compared to 46,305 so almost 500 plus points with the uh, 1080p 3D test uh, score uh, which is almost, uh, you could say, not noticeable. And then uh, rest of the stuff, it got down, like the UI and the CPU and the stuff. And then 720p uh, here, you can see that the overall score, it improved. It's still not as good as the Quad HD score, but the 3D uh, has gone worse, okay? So I was getting comments that the 3D performance will get, you know, improved, but... Uh, yeah, that's not actually the case here. 3D performance has gone down 37,470 uh, But the rest of the stuff is improved like the UI compared to the um, 1080p UI test here But still less compared to the quad HD UI test and then the CPU is 35,000 with the 720p uh, 25,000 with 1080p and 34,000 with the, the uh, 
with the Quad HD. So the best score of the CPU is with the 720p. And with the RAM, we got almost uh, 10,000 with 720p and 5,000 and 9,000 around with the Quad HD and 1080p. So yeah. So like I said in my previous video that these low resolutions, they're not gonna provide you a big performance boost. Instead, they're gonna provide you a little bit less performance as far as the benchmarks are concerned. And also, uh, you might get a little bit better 3D score, but it's almost not noticeable. The best, uh, the best experience will always be with the Quad HD display. And uh, also, I tested out the games, I played the GTA San Andreas, and literally there's no improvement in the frame rate. It's uh, pretty much the same as it runs with uh, on the quad hd resolution as compared to let's see let's say the 720p so performance is literally the same same fps with the quad hd and same with the 720p and 1080p really guys uh not that much of a big deal here apart from providing you some extra hours in overall usage so yeah that was uh, a test here uh really fun uh, I had a lot of fun to make this, you know, interesting stuff here, interesting features with the TouchWiz UI. Uh, let me know what more videos you want to see, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.